then we uh, moved to Florida to work at the children's home down there. And then once <clears throat> uh, we'd been there for six years or so when this started, um, because you know we were invited out here by a local pastor, uh, Pastor Ferguson L. Westbrook Baptist, they bought this building and um, you know, that's a whole story in itself, but basically they, they were approached to buy it and they said, you know, he's like, we don't have the money, we're a small church, we don't need it. And the guy, whoever it was, just kept coming back and coming back and um, lowering the price. And finally there was a, you know, he said, I don't take it to the congregation. And um, so we brought it to him thinking, well, you know, they're gonna say the same thing I did. And they voted unanimously to, to buy it. And so then he has this huge building, 30,000 square feet, like, what am I going to do with it? Um, and then within just a short amount of time, he ended up going to Florida, to Tampa for a meeting. Uh, you know, once a year, a bunch of the pastors get together and they have, um, but that just happened to be held at our church that we attend and our kids uh, and our executive director um, came in from one of the meetings and the kids sang and, and he told them about what we do at Hope. And uh, uh, Pastor Chanel walked up to him afterwards and shook his hand and told him who he was and said, you're gonna open a kid's home in uh, Clovis, New Mexico. And, and he said, what is what is Clovis? You know what I mean? We never even heard of the place. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the end of it. We came out and um, took a look at the property, look at the town and felt like it was, A, there's definitely a need in New Mexico. Uh, we met with a bunch of the other folks that there's homes in Portales and there's a couple other homes here. And you know, they're just, they, they don't have enough beds, nobody does. The state can't um, house all the kids they need to take care of. And so we, we saw there was a need, uh, saw there was potential in the town. It's a big enough town to support us, um, uh, which is blew us out of the water. We had no idea how, how generous folks are here. I mean, no kidding. Um, and then, you know, we just, there, there was some planning, there was some prayer, and um, me and Seneca threw our name in the ring, and, or we, you know, nobody, nobody else volunteered, so they picked us, and, and that was it. And that's how we made it here.